to Apple Watch. All right. Good job. I like it. We combined like four technology trends into one right now. You got mobile, you have hardware, you got watch, you have fitness, you got it all. So let, let me ask you first of all just about like about what you guys are doing. Are you focusing on the hardware part, hardware part like the, the bra and the other things that are integrated into wearables? Or are you focused on the software part? Or Yeah, Yeah. so we are focused, um, I would say 80% on the AI, that's the algorithm development, the reactive data model in the back end, um, the API layer so that we can do plug and play, we can actually integrate different types of uh, devices. And then 20% is uh, we have development partners where we, with whom we actually develop uh, this textile-based sensor. So disclaimer, I've been doing this for about 15, 20 years, so you know, I pretty much know who is doing what in the industry, and we're partnering up with the right partners to actually get, the, get um, those type of sensors. Okay, but you're not, the long term you're not gonna be like, I'm not going to go to like a sporting goods place and looking for the super product. No, you do. So, the, but it's integrated. So basically, um, if you see, so right now we are launching this this bra and also a few other um, you know garments uh, that is non sensorized We call it swag, but people love it. So if you guys want to buy some swag, um, uh, but what is very important is um, if, if soon you go as a consumer go into a store like you know an Adidas or um, a, a retail store and you see the super icon the S you know it is super powered which means super powered you can use the app with it it has a sensor integrated in the clothing we are not a clothing manufacturer um, we actually sell the sensors like the zippers to manufacturers so, so the sensor is your unique technology okay let's go over here Hello. Hi. Uh, very interesting. Um, I wanted to know what do you do with the personal data? Is it stored on my device or is it centralized somewhere in the cloud and then you sell the information to a third party to so, make more money? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a great question. So um, so we are not selling the data, like it's not advertising, it's not, not a data model in terms of advertising. So what we do is we basically have three different models. One is if you are a brand, you work with us, um, and if you are a consumer and you uh, acknowledge um, that you are using a certain superpower that is sponsored by, let's say, Nike, and Nike is using your data, you are actually informed about that. So it's very much like a Nike Plus right now. If you want to create a super, if you want to use a superpower and do not want to share your data, it's basically a subscription model. Your data is not shared. And then um, on the actual cloud, the data is aggregated because we want to make an AI smart, so we need to have a lot of data. And that uh, data is, uh, is then encrypted and completely depersonalized. So we're not basically using your data, we're using the congregated data for disease prediction, and, you know, analytics and so forth. And that is something that we need over time and it's not something you know, we are actually smart enough today. I mean, nobody is. We need to have a lot of data from a lot of different uh, you know, people, a lot of different areas um, to become a smarter AI. And then mostly it's, I mean, for us, it's really about digital health and it's about really, you know, the body is, is the centerpiece. Do you have anything else besides bras? Uh, yeah, we're going to integrate into um, other, into like sports, uh, uh, sorry, into man's shirts. We're also working on um, an underwater version. And also, um, is it geared more towards running or is it uh, also no. geared towards other sports as well? No, no, every, so, so running is just the first application. It is for every single activity that we specialize. So there is also one version where we, we call it now internally surf like Kelly Slater. <laughs> so, um, but it's basically we're using um, uh, a very specific uh, activity and then create the algorithm around it and then call this being the superpower. Also, uh, um, the NBA started using a wearable from a company called Whoop. Is that a competitor or is that something? So that would be no. That's a great question. So those people, those guys, we want to integrate. So we int we start integrating um, the uh, sensors that are currently available through either Health Kit or other direct um, uh, uh, um, integration. Like a trace up, for example, or you know a Fitbit or whatever, whatever uh, you know um, um, uh, device you're using. And so these type of devices are the same. Like we're looking into integrating. We're a platform. We're not a single point. Question right here. 
Yeah, <clears throat> mine's more mechanical. How are you powering your sensors? I assume that they elect elect require some kind of electric, electric yes. power, right? Yes, that's So we have a lithium battery included no, in this no, unit, or just simply electromagnetic? Coin cells. So these are, right now, we have coin cell batteries in here. Uh, we, they last about 300 hours. The reason for that is because uh, as soon as the, um, the, uh, the processor doesn't find a signal, the Bluetooth doesn't find a signal, it'll actually storm and it sleep, falls asleep. So you definitely need a battery in your Yes, shirt. right now you do need a battery, yes. The next question is, I mean, I'm very familiar with sensors, and one of the things is sensitivity. So in terms of, if, let's say you put that shirt in a wash, what do you do? 300, that's fine. You can wash, you can wash uh, this type of material, you can wash up to 300, uh, sorry, up to wash 100 wash cycles. So there's no problem at all. So this, this lasts longer than an actual bra. Okay, cool. The mic was on that side. Yeah, uh, sorry, I, I came in a little late. My question's on the medical side. Yeah. What other inputs do you think you need besides the longitudinal data that you're collecting? Uh, to sort of create a diagnostic feature that you run. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, anything we can get our hands on, to be very honest. Uh, so any, so um, it very much depends on which disease you actually want to tackle. Uh, so that's one. So that's why what we are doing is we are, we are capturing as much raw data as we can get, not only from the body, but also from the environment, also what you actually also put into your body, what you eat, the vitamins, the, the, the drugs you're using, or so forth as much as we can get. Very much depends on the disease. Right, so do you see yourself, I guess, as a node in that problem, yeah. or as the one that's gonna solve the problem? No, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I wanna no. pick so Solving a problem like this cannot be one. <laughs> so I want to piggyback in your question, actually, I'm going to give you the mic again in just a second, but um, I want to talk about the competitive landscape because I know that Under Armour has mm -hmm. been very focused on the combination of informatics yep. and data and wearables and devices, and they have their, they have like a future video too, We're like, okay, well in the future you're going to basically wear this skin, and it's very Star Trek Next Generation actually, if you wear the skin, it'll be relaying information. These are some major players with some major pockets. You know, who are publicly traded, who have a lot of resources. So I guess the question is, is, is like, what's the play? Is the play, because it seems like you're focused on the AI and the data side versus the harvest side, which is good because it's kind of hard, you know, Nike and Under Armour have some deep pockets. So what is your thought about what they're doing, the direction they're going, and kind of how that's overlapping? I, I, think, it's, I think it's fantastic because uh, people like, or companies like Under Armour are actually paving the consumer uh, perception of, of this, this is one. However, you know, somebody like an Under Armour or any of the larger corporations, we also need to be, you know, very, very about the fact that it's not the core business either. So, um, you know, if you look into like what Nike, for example, did with the fuel band, I mean, you would have probably said Fitbit's never, never going to survive because it's a startup, and then you have Nike doing Nike, um, you know, the, the fuel band but it doesn't exist anymore, <laughs> you know? Um, so I think there, you know, that is one of the, one of the, the verticals that I'm thinking of. Um, we should probably not be scared. We should just all work together because there's so many different aspects. Healthy opinion. Yes, Paul? What is the AI doing in the back end? I'm trying to understand what, what the AI, what, what are you doing with it? Uh, so basically what we are doing is we are capturing all this information in the, in, right now with as, as much information as we can actually get from the body. And then what we actually identify is what is the, in, in, uh, there was a question about the disease or a, a specific activity. What is it that we need to learn about that? And then really create the algorithms around that. And, and very honestly, this is something that right now we are like developing and trying to figure out what are the different uh, applications that people want in order for us to integrate all those different data sets, that they can start learning from each other. <laughs> can I question? So, um, my one of my focuses of interest is the intersection of physical wellness and mental wellness. And actually, uh, if you were here for the February Tech Breakfast, I announced that back then it was at, right afterwards that I was monitoring or I was I was hosting a panel on that on that very topic. Uh, my question is: Do you see a possibly down the line? Um, What's what I'm looking for? Application for mental to tie mental health into this as well. Yeah, I think that, that, that that's a great question. It also is a little bit about the AI question right there. So um, Sean Montgomery, who is the head of R and D at Super, he is he is, his background is a PhD in neuroscience. So he's very interested in creating um, algorithms or creating applications that actually balance the two. That that you understand the body and you understand the mind. So that's this is 
definitely something that you know can be of interest in the future. All right. Well, good job. Good job for the demo. Great questions. I was like so convinced you were going to make us get up and run around the room, <laughs> measure our heartbeats. We might just do that if you guys are falling asleep. We may have you all everybody's going to be wearing some super bras here to make that work. All right. So cool. As we're plugging in, where is he? My last, there he is. Let me, my last presenter. We're going to do.